Well, thanks so much for staying. This is the AM Show. My name is Benedict Tosu. 25 years of broadcasting excellence in the sports industry. And of course, we owe it a duty to continue serving you with the best of sports news and analysis. You know, Multimedia Joy FM, we are 25 years. And uh, as part of our anniversary, uh, what we're going to do is every day, we'll try and bring you sports personalities on what their fond memories are in terms of whatever multimedia has been doing the last 25 years when it comes to sports and of course yesterday we saw action here on the local scene with match the eight uh, ghana premier league games and as santa Cruz are still winless in their last two games after a goalless draw with wafa now their coach max okunudu had this to say after the game we were very organized behind the ball and uh, we played on the counter i think from the first half uh, our boys worked so hard it wasn't an easy match, but we managed to pull a draw. It's good for our confidence, it's good for the team, and I think uh, we have to congratulate the boys. You think the result was a fair one? Yeah, it's a fair one, even though we scored what I think was a clean goal, but who knows? We have to look at the replay, whether indeed the ball really touched with Chadata's hand before the shot. Uh, but apart from that, it was a clean game, and I think everything went on well. Do you think the team is lacking goal-scoring opportunities or goal-scoring? It's only in this game or the medieval match that we fail to score. Apart from that, we've been scoring, so I don't think that's a big deal. So as Ante Kotoko coach, Max Okunu is speaking there. Now to the other coach, that's Prosper Nati of Wafa. He talked about what was a difficult game for his side. It's okay. I mean, we played well. We created some few chances, not obvious do, but I think they played according to instructions. Uh, we look very compact. Only that um, we're, we're not passing the ball in the final third as expected. Um, but, I mean, it's part of the game and we have to go back and probably look at what to do next in our next match. Sokofa used to be a deadly fortress for Wafa when teams come here. But this season, Hearts of Oak have come to pick a point here. Liberty came to pick all three points here. Kotoko have picked a point as well. What is the real issue at hand, do you think? There isn't any issue. Um, I think um, it's a matter of, I mean, scoring here. And we only need to score because we're playing well. Yeah, it's about scoring. So maybe we need to work on our scoring and that's all. All right, Pospanati is coach of Wafa. Now, Idiana star striker Ayah Mohamed has won the Premier League NASCO Player of the Month uh, for January and the Premier League top scorer beat off competition from Interlice, uh, Victorian Ajay Adebayo, Bukum Chelsea, Zakaria Fuseni, and then Mediamis Prince Opoku Ajiman, as well as Asante Kotokos Justice Blaine. Mohamed uh, was in sensational form in the six games under review with one up to six which were played in the month of December, January, respectively. And also, Brikum Chelsea's coach, Asai Bediakon, uh, has been adjudged NASCO Premier League coach of the month uh, for January. And then uh, he led Chelsea to a sensational unbeaten run in six games, which included games against Accra Hearts of Fuku, Asante Kotoko, and then Ashanti Gold. And coach Bediakon led Chelsea to stunning victories against all these teams away in the Premier League. So, of course, We've heard from Max Okunudu as well as Prospanate after their 1 1, uh, their goalless draw at the uh, Sugakope Park. Other games played yesterday, Liberty Professionals. Uh, they actually uh, should have played at home. Their home ground is the Dansuman Karindov Park, but they went away uh, to play at the uh, Dewu Park. That's the home venue of Dreams FC because uh, the Dansuman Park has been declared unfit to host matches by the club licensing board. So Dreams FC played away, but they played at home and they won that game by two goals to And then Kim Faisal, seven goal thriller at the Bavaria Stadium as a Kragut Olympics won by four goals to three. Manuel Clotty scoring a brace in that game. 11 wonders in Talais. In Talais went away and won that game by three goals to nil. Now, Media Messi were at home at the Akon Park to Bechem United. They won by a goal to nil. And shocking result yesterday was uh, when Ibusondo was defeated, the Indiana Stars by three goals to one in Cape Coast and then Legon Cities uh, at the Accra Stadium beat Elmina Sharks by a goal to nil. Bukum Chelsea back to winning ways at home at the Golden City Park as they finished up Kerala United by a goal to nil. So the Premier League table after match day eight, Bukum Chelsea lead the pack with 17 points. Indiana Stars are second with 16 points, a point separating them and Chelsea. Mediama is also on 16 points and Asante Kotoko are fourth, 14 points. But they are scored the seventh 
Uh, they are fifth with 13 points, and of course, they have a game in hand. They are playing tonight against Accra at a folk, and Dreams FC are sixth with 13 points. Seventh position is Wapa, 13 points, 13 points between United, eighth, Liberty, and ninth with 10 points. 10 points, uh, respectively, for Interallies, Great Olympics, Accra, Hearts of Folk, who uh, occupy the 10th, 11th, 12th uh, position. Okay, so the last bit of the table, we have Legon City, they are 13th with 9 points, 8 points for Omina Sharks, Karela United are 15th. Also on eight points, seven points, eleven wonders. Ebusan Dov, seventeen position, six points, and just three points for Kim Faisal Babies in their language and bottom of the Premier League table. So one game will be played later tonight at the Accra Sports Stadium to wrap up Week Eight of the Ghana Premier League, and it's going to be between Accra Heart of Folk and Ashanti Go. That game is at exactly seven p.m. Well, away from the Premier League, government has pledged $100,000 uh, for the activities of the Ghana Rugby Union. Now, President Nana Adankwe Kufado communicated this to the Rugby Union President Herbert Mensah and his team when they visited him at the Jubilee House yesterday. Our lady here, our mother here, who looks after all of us at the presidency, the chief of staff, she's saying that from her very limited budget, she's going to be able to find a reasonable amount of seed money to help you for <laughs> meeting the cost of camping and also providing a little incentive for you, especially now you've brought to us these four cups. So she's asked me to be able to tell you that she's going to make available to you 100,000 United States dollars. <laughs> Get, you'll get its equivalent to help you uh, in for your, the cost of your camping as well as as an incentive to the thing. But this is good news. Let's hope that uh, periodically you'll be coming here to announce more and more yeah. triumphs and victories. Yeah. 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 Especially the female team. I'm yeah. very interested in the development of, of the female team. Yeah. Now we're from the local scene, Tottenham Hotspur battled past Southampton in a thrilling FA Cup fourth round replay to set up a home tie against Norwich. Spurs went ahead when Tonga Ndombele's shots deflected in off uh, visiting defender Jack Stevens before Shin Long made it 1-1 after Nathan Redmond's uh, effort had been parried by Hugo Lloris. Now Danny Ings killed a shot past Lloris to put the Saints ahead, but Lucas Moura equalized with his strike from 18 yards in space. Won the tie when Song Hyun Min converted an 87th minute penalty highlight of the game for you.